Hi, I'm Doug Schaefer, Advantage Feeders USA. We're gonna go through a few simple steps to help you guys get started with setting your feeders when you get going. So with that, we'll get to it. Adjusting the flow control or the upper adjusters done here on the end, you want to use this nut that goes with these guides. Simply loosen it, move your flow control to the desired setting and tighten it back. There's two other bolts here that do not need to be used to common mistakes. Sometimes we have people trying to loosen this one. This is just a pivot bolt. There again, it's all done from right here. Very easy. So if you can see in here, that's what brings the flow. I'm gonna go ahead and raise this up so you can see it one more time. That would be in the all open position right there which is gonna be roughly around one inch opening, which is, is gonna allow for very liberal flow. If, as we're trying to control flow, we're simply gonna lower the adjustment. Okay. The adjuster can also be used uh, if, if you happen to have a little clogging in it, something that binds up a little. Sometimes it's easy just to go to the end Raise the adjuster handle all the way up. Allow for anything that's obstructed to come through and then reset it to the desired setting. Now we're going to show you how to adjust the lower adjuster, which is the gap where the animal's gonna use their tongue to access the feed. We have four adjusters on the 2500. The smaller 1200 will have two. Those are easily adjusted using our new cam guards. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and loosen all these main bolts. Okay. And for today's sake, we're gonna say we want this on an opening of five. We simply rotate our cam adjusters to five. Push our guard down against it, our lower adjuster against it, and then go in and tighten. Also, to make it easier, sometimes you need to move this adjuster to either increase or decrease consumption while there's feed in the feeder. It's very easy with these new adjusters. You can simply loosen these and then using the other nut, use it to torque it up to four, which makes it a lot easier than trying to push it up when you have feet against it. Okay. Now we have it up to the next set. The cam adjusters can also be retrofitted on any of our old feeders. The old feeders would, would just have this bolt. Without this, you simply remove that bolt, install a cam adjuster, and retighten it, and you're ready to go.